Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you here with me today. Today, I feel like the title of this video is a little bit of a spoiler, but today I'm talking to you guys all about different funding options for your startup. I do lots and lots of work within our accountancy practice, working with businesses that are growing and scaling, some looking for funding, some looking for consultancy to seek external investment. And so a lot of the conversations that I have with people are all about different funding options for your startup. There are lots of misconceptions about different funding options, programs like Shark Tank and Dragon's Den just actually sometimes make the world a little bit more confusing and they skew what actually happens for business owners during the funding process. So don't worry, I am here to talk to you all about different ways that you can fund your startup, different ways that you can get cash into the business, some through loans and borrowing, some through giving away equity and shares within your business and others without giving away anything at all. If you are thinking about starting a business or you've already started a business, I'm here to guide you through all of the different ways that you can fund that business. I'm going to be talking about personal investments, friends and family funding, business loans, startup loans, peer-to-peer -peer lenders, business grants, equity investments, and crowdfunding. And I thought you will be watching this video if you're looking to make a decision. And so what I thought would be super, super helpful is if I run through every single funding option and actually give you as a small business owner, the pros and the cons for each different option. So, I thought I'd break it down into three different sections and I have timestamped them below. So if you are here for a very specific reason or if you've got a specific question that you'd like answered, you can actually just skip ahead. But for everybody that is here for the whole journey, grab a cup of tea. I'm gonna break it down into three sections and those sections are funding, which is a loan, which is then repayable. Then I'm gonna move on to funding, which you receive in exchange for giving away equity within your business. And then I'm going to move on to grants and government funding. So let's kick things off with the loans. So first things first, I'm going to talk about a traditional bank loan. Traditional bank loans are still a super, super popular option for lots and lots of small businesses. But it's really important to do your research on the different types of loans that are available, the terms, the interest rates and the guarantees that come with those loans. So this option might be suitable for businesses that have a really good relationship with their bank firstly, and businesses that are able to make a really convincing case when it comes to asking for the money. The pros of traditional bank loans are that some banks offer super low interest rates, depending on yours and your business's credit score, and you also won't have to give up any capital or control within your business. The cons of a traditional bank loan are that the process of actually getting bank funding and finance can be quite long and time consuming. And many banks require quite a high level of financial reporting, like cash flow forecasts and management accounts that you probably need to work with an accountant like me to prepare for you. So that is a traditional bank loans. I'm now going to talk about guaranteed bank loans, which are slightly different to traditional banking loans. So guaranteed loan schemes are for small businesses that don't qualify for traditional bank lending, normally because you can't put up security or you don't have any trading history and so a bank won't lend to you. You will though still have to demonstrate that you've got a solid business plan and that it is viable. The pros for going through a guaranteed loan scheme are that it is a great source of lending if you've been turned down through traditional bank lending options. And the cons are that there are super strict criteria to meet in order to qualify for a guaranteed loan. Next up, we have got friends and family funding. It is super common in the early stages of business for parents, siblings, and friends to financially support your business. This option is the most suitable for businesses that need that initial support in order to be able to prove their concept. Once they've done that and they've proved that their concept can be successful, they can then go on to seek other forms of funding in the future. The pros of using friends and family for funding is that it can be way quicker than traditional lending routes. And depending on how much interest you pay your friends and family, it can be a great investment for them too. The cons of friends and family funding, I feel like they're quite obvious. So sometimes mixing friends, family and business sometimes is not a good idea. It can damage relationships if things go wrong. And so it's really important to think about the worst case scenario when you are engaging in these relationships. Okay, next up along the lending route, we've got crowdfunding. And sometimes crowdfunding can fall into the equity route and the lending route. I'm gonna talk about it here. So with crowdfunding, you can raise the total amount of funding that you need online through the general public. 
So people either lend you the money, which is peer-to-peer -peer lending, or they take a stake in your business in return for the money. This is a really suitable lending option for businesses with amazing growth potential that will attract lots and lots of attention. But you do need to have some time on your hands because it can take a while. By breaking your total fundraise into small, attractive chunks for the general public to invest in, it means that you need a lot of people to fund that crowd. <laughs> the pros of using crowdfunding are that the larger the pool of people you can reach, the better chance of you getting a great deal. And the cons are that it can take a really, really long time to hit your target. You might have to invest in a lot of publicity in order to spread the word to gain your funding. Okay, so I'm now gonna move on from lending into equity. So this is where people give you money and instead of repaying those funds, you actually give them equity in return for their money. So I'm gonna kick things off with business angels and angel investors. So angel investors are pretty wealthy individuals <laughs> who provide funding in exchange for a stake in your business. Some investors work in groups of angels whilst other angels work on their own. So angel investment is not suitable for business owners that want to retain 100% control over their business and 100% future profits. That is where lending would be more suited to you. The pros of using angel investment is that as well as the cash, angel investors usually have a wealth of experience to offer you and can provide you with really, really valuable business advice and guidance. The cons of angel investment are that you have to give up some control and equity within your business. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna talk about venture capitalists. So venture capitalists are investors who put in really, really large sums of money. And these are generally investments that are larger than the investments that angel investors would provide in exchange for equity within the business. Very often the venture capitalist's objective is to help your business grow very quickly so that they can realize a return on their investment as fast as possible. So if you're a startup with really high growth potential and you don't mind giving up some equity, then venture capital could be for you. It is a great route to secure both funding and mentoring. And so the pros of seeking venture capital investment are that again, in addition to the funding, venture capitalists will offer their expertise to help you develop the business. And they can also open doors into their networks and they're the networks that you will want to be in. The cons of venture capital investment are that you're gonna to have to give up a pretty large chunk in your business in exchange for their sizable investment. Next up on the equity route, we have incubators and accelerators. So these are programs that are designed to scale and grow ambitious startups. They provide mentoring and small seed investment in return for equity in your business. The pros of using an incubator or an accelerator are that in addition to the funding, these programs offer structured training and valuable expertise to help you grow your business. The cons are that the application process and the selection process can be gruelling and it is not guaranteed that you will get a place. Next up, I'm gonna talk about government funding and grants that you might be able to leverage to get cash into your business to help you grow and scale. First up, I'm gonna be talking about research and development grants. So R&D grants are the UK government's way of rewarding innovative companies. This grant either takes the form of a direct cash payment or a reduction in your future tax liability and you, the business owner, get to decide which you take. The pros of an R&D grant are that it's a grant, there's no repayments and you do not have to give away equity in your business in exchange for the funds. But the cons are that there are quite strict conditions to meet in order to qualify for the funding and you must be undertaking work that is inside the scope of the grants. Next up, I'm gonna be talking about SEIS and EIS funding schemes. So the Enterprise Investment Scheme and the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme are really, really tax efficient ways to secure funding backed by HMRC. So when investors subscribe to shares in your business, they get tax back at that point, and then they also get further income tax relief if their investment makes a loss. The pros for using the SEIS and EIS scheme, this turns your raise for funding into a really attractive option to persuade investors to part with their cash. The cons are that there are a fair number of conditions for both the company and the investors to meet before you can qualify for the funding. And again, you'll need to be carrying out a qualifying trade. So I have run through funding, which comes in the form of a loan, funding, which comes in exchange for equity within your business and funds that come as part of government funding and grants. So if you would like to talk about your business, if you would like to talk about different funding options for your business and how we can work together, you can actually use the links in the description to this video to book a meeting straight into my diary so we can have a cup of tea on Zoom and chat about your business. 
Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I am so, so grateful. Please do hit the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I release a juicy video like this one. And I hope to see you again very soon.